Hello everybody, can you find out number of squares in this figure in 10 seconds? It cannot do that. This is the video that you should be watching. Uh, here, the special case is when number of rows and number of columns, both of them are not same. So how many rows are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And how many columns do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So I might say that this is, this is an 8 cross 7 figure when number of rows are 8 and number of columns are 7. So in this video what are we going to do? We are going to find out number of squares when rows and columns both of them are not same. But before you watch this video I recommend you to watch uh, the part 1 video of this series where we have found out number of squares when rows and columns both of them were same. So let us find out how many squares are, are there in this diagram. Uh, this one has got one, two, three, and four rows, whereas number of columns, how many of them are there? One, two, and then three. So this one is called a four cross three dimension, isn't it? A four rows and three columns. How do we find out? Now everybody must be understanding this one cross one how many is squares are going to be of one cross one dimension i would say that this is the smallest one so one and then two and then three so three from here and three from here and three from here and three from here so how many how many squares are we going to be having we are going to be having a total of 12 squares isn't it now how about how about let me change the color of the pen and in the meantime, you should be telling me how many squares are there of this dimension, which is 2 cross 2. Uh, because there is nothing else that we can do. We need to develop a shortcut. Uh, we need to find out how many squares are there of this dimension, which is 2 cross 2. So this is going to be the this is going to be the first square, and then this is going to be the second one, and and this is the third and fourth. I hope you understand this. This is the fifth one and this is the this is the sixth one so how should you know this two from here and two from here and two from here so in total how many squares are we having of this dimension is six uh, how about three cross three uh, that's that's pretty simple to identify as to how many squares are there of three cross three dimension uh, what did i do uh, so this is going to be, this is going to be 3 cross 3 is, see this is the very first video that, uh, this is the first square, not video, this is the first square and this is the, this is the second square, right. So how many of them are there? In total you have got only, only 2 and if we add them up, how many squares are going to be there? In total you will be having only 20 squares. Uh, was it difficult? No, it was not difficult at all. But there is a pattern attached to this. Now listen to this very, very carefully. How many rows did we have? Four. And how many columns did we have? Three. How do we get this 12? How do we get this 12? What you should be doing the next step is reduce this four by one, which is three. And then reduce this three by one, which is two. So you will be having, you will be having this this 6 is not it simple and then and then reduce it further this becomes 2 and this becomes 1 and then you are having additional 2 squares and now you cannot go below this because you cannot say uh, 1 into 0 that would not make much difference would not make sense so what we should be doing is because number of rows and columns are not same so one of them is going to be lesser than the other one uh, reduce them one by one and till what time you should be doing that till this one comes out as one and that's that is what you should be doing you should not be counting them individually uh, you should be writing four cross three and so forth and so on just to make you understand just to make you understand let me give you one more example what if what if you need to find out i'm gonna make this diagram so that you get it one two and then three and I am making it kind of so how many how many rows are we having we're having one two three four five six and seven so number of rows seven how many columns do we have one two three and four so 
So this diagram has got seven rows and four columns. And if we need to find out how many squares are there, what is that we should be doing? We should write seven cross four. You understand this? Plus reduce seven by one, which is six. And then this becomes three. And then reduce them further by one. That is five into two and then four into one that is it you don't have to do anything else what you should be doing now now this answer is 28 this is 28 this is 18 and this is 10 and this is 4 and you add them up and you will be having a number of uh, total squares uh, isn't it pretty simple so what is that you should be doing you should be finding out how many rows are there and how many columns are there and do this one by one and you will have your answer so in this series let us find out one more problem uh, so that we understand this concept well and we will finish this video so how many how many rows do we have here one two three four five six seven and eight and how many columns do we have one two three four five six and seven so this is a this is a diagram which has got eight rows and seven columns and you need to find out number of squares uh, so how do you do that it's pretty pretty simple what is that you should be doing this is 8 into 7 which is 56 plus 7 into 6 which is 42 plus now you understand what I'm doing so this is 6 into 5 which is 30 plus which is 5 into 5 into 4 which is 20 plus plus 4 into 3 which is 12 plus 3 into 2 which is 6 plus 2 into 1 this is the last step that you should be doing and what is that you should be doing you should add these values and you will have number of squares you don't even have to count you don't have to do anything would you not be able to find out in 10 seconds yes you will be able to find out number of squares in 10 seconds if rows and columns both of them are not same so what we have learned in these two videos is when rows and columns both of them are same and when both of them are not same how do we find out number of squares in the third video of this series we will be taking some uh, mixed uh, figures uh, probably those are those facebook uh, uh, figures where it is written that 99 percent will fail uh, you are not going to fail because you are going to be in top 1% when you watch our third video. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And as a matter of custom, I would say that please subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon and this share, uh, talk about this channel. If you're learning something fantastic from here, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to watch you in third video. Thank you very much.